Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. I want you guys to hear something. I'm about to play something. I'm going to play a little segment, and it's very short, but then I'm going to dissect it, and I'm going to explain to you what I've been saying, and particularly about women in the man nation, what I've been saying for years about them and about the new generation of black men and why I'm worried about where we're going as a whole and why at the end of the day, black men continue to show that they are at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to being respected. You know, at the end of the day, just because somebody is physically intimidated by you, that don't mean that they respect you. We can physically intimidate people all we want, but at the end of the day, that doesn't mean they'll respect us. At the end of the day, fear and respect is two different things. You can be fearful of somebody, but that don't mean you respect them. And I'm going to show you why there's a lack of respect for the American, or should I say the black man in general as a whole. I'm not going to say American. I'm going to say globally why black men are the least valued and least respected uh, men when it comes to the human race. But I'm about to show you why. And I'm going to explain this to you because once again, I want this to resonate all the way from the next generation from the 15 to 25 to the 25 to 35 to the 35 to 55 and 55 and up. This needs to register. And like I said, I'm going to keep putting these videos out because it needs to register through y'all head. But eventually you guys will get it. So let me play this footage and then I'll break it down for you guys. Give me a second. The only N word I call my boyfriend is nice. I love you, my nigga. Now, what you just heard is, well, another video from TikTok. Boy, I'm telling you, I'm becoming a big fan of TikTok because TikTok is on a regular basis exposing races and how people look at black people as a whole and how everybody feel like black people are fair game it's okay to emulate black people copy off black people you know what i'm saying talk like black people you know try to have the swagger that black people have the coolness but at the end of the day you want to make fun of black people and disrespect black people now in case you guys don't know what you were listening to this was a video from tiktok where some weak degenerate beta black man was sitting up with his white girlfriend and basically they did a video and basically you know the white woman tries to be funny by saying she don't use the n-word and then at the end she says i love you my nigga i've said this on several occasions that white women are far more racist than white men and this is just more facts because at the end of the day, the mother basically spends a lot of time with the children. She spends more time with the children than the man does. So she teaches them things. And basically, a lot of the racism that's ensued in white men comes from white women. Now, instead of this man saying, hey, don't say nothing like that, he laughs it off and just you know, laughs it off like it was cool. Any self-respecting black man, if, and I'm going to tell you right now, if you are a black man and you with a white woman and you let her call you the N-word, something is seriously wrong with you. Your mental psyche is fucked up and you don't need to go see a shrink. Now, keep in mind, Albert Hainsworth, as big as he is, he was married or he was with a white woman and she didn't look that hot neither. But he said that she used to call him the N-word with the E-R. But my question is, why did you get with somebody like that? And see, this is what I've been saying about the Mayonnaise Nation. They have this sick infatuation with black people and wanting to use that word. I, Because lately they've been trying every justification to try to s explain why they should be able to use that word. Don't you remember... Iggy Azalea, well, her career went tumbling and crashing when she started putting out tweets talking about I'm chilling with my my niggas and 
she said in an interview that she has earned the right to say the n-word and then basically she got checked by people such as jill scott and a couple of other people got on their helmet saying no first of all let me explain something to you especially to you uh crusty face you know pale face clear people there ain't no such thing as no no ghetto pass they ain't they ain't no hood pass they ain't none of that invited to the barbecue now if you around black people that let you say that then you keep that in in y'all little uh community but don't be thinking that it's okay to just go around every black person saying the n-word because you gonna get a rude awakening and like i said any white person that think it's cool for them to use the n-word something is wrong with you too and you are a racist and don't give me that shit about oh well my black friends say it's cool to use it well your black friends have self-hate and they have low self-esteem now for any of you niggas that's gonna come on here talking about oh well you know black people is just too sensitive and i'll shut up coward you a coward and to you non-blacks stay out of this you too you included too you shouldn't be saying it neither because at the end of the day y'all car been proven especially you asians based off how we see how you really how, how how you really treat black people what you really think of black people you know what i'm saying you've been uncovered through the razor ramona y'all true y'all true true colors is being shown globally based off what y'all trying to do to the people in africa how y'all are treating people that look like me that come to asia y'all been uncovered too y'all in the same category and keep in mind i put out a tiktok video where you had an asian girl making fun of black people i mean it's funny how you guys don't respect us but you always copying off us but then again most of y'all don't have no natural talent you can't create nothing unless you see us doing it and the problem is you guys seem to make all the money off our creations but like i said before i could tell by how this dude look he probably in the military because that's how a lot of them military dudes look like I said, why would he even allow her to disrespect him like that? Because here's the thing. I guarantee you for the for, for you Asians that think it's cool to use that word, I guarantee you no black person can come in your house and call you uh, derogatory terms for Asians and y'all would just laugh it off and think it's cool. I guarantee you, you will say, hey, don't say that. You will say you offended by that. Well, I'm offended when I hear you non-blacks use the N-word. I'm highly offended. Like I said, when I was doing Uber, I had several incidents with people that wasn't black coming in my car using the N-word. And I had to check them on that. Now, some of them would comply easily, but then you have some that will try to explain, you know, because like I said, I had to, uh, you know, gorilla check some white boy who was talking about, oh, I'm from Richmond. I was like, I don't care. Talked about, oh, well, my, 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 my black friends let me say, well, your black friends are cowards. Like I said, if you a black dude that's listening to this, I'm going to continue to say this. You a coward. You a punk. You a mark. When you going to stand up for yourself? When you going to sow some self-pride? I guarantee you, you'll be quick to want to check a black dude that step on your Jordans or look at you funny. I guarantee you, you'll run up on a black dude. But the people you should be running up on these ages and these non-blacks that sit up here and disrespect you all of, of a sudden you want to proceed with caution. Oh, it's not a big deal. Oh, you, you know, um, you, you know, I ain't really tripping. Well, let me let me ask you something. If you're not bothered by, you know, them saying that word. According to you and we being too sensitive, but why do you get mad when a black person say something to you? Hypocrite, fraud, coward. And for you Caucasians that sit up here and say black people is too sensitive, you don't get you you don't get to you don't get to say that. You don't get to determine what's you know racist, not racist, and what's offensive according to you. Fuck y'all. You, no, you don't. You don't get to determine that. You don't get to say so, and what's offensive to us. But see what it is. You got a lot of black people that want to be down. You know, so bad to well, they, they'll accept any fake talking points that come out of the so-called dominant society. But at the end of the day, this is this shit got to stop. We got to wake up. We got to stop letting these people 
disrespect us because like i see i guarantee you can't go in no mexican household or no hispanic household and use derogatory terms for hispanics i guarantee you they'll, they'll look at you funny or they'll be ready to fight or they'll tell you to leave but then everybody think it's cool to use the n-word why do you feel like that's being accepted when you hear somebody using a term that was created to demean you. Why do you think it's cool when you hear some white person saying, saying my nigga? Because like I told you, white boys and you non-blacks, I'm not your nigga. I won't ever be your nigga. And for you black dudes that sit up here and say black people too emotional, you guys are punks. And that's all it come down to. You don't have no backbone. Like I said, you will pull a, a gun out on another black man in a second. But like I said, George Zimmerman still walking around. Freely. Ain't been touched. Sold the gun that he killed Trayvon Martin with. But And I know some of y'all didn't seen him. Always got excuses. But like I said, this is why people don't respect black men. So this is why sometimes I don't even get mad when Cynthia G attacks black men the way she does. Because to a certain degree, she's right. A lot of us do act like beta males. Like I said, we the only race that allow other races to disrespect us. And don't say nothing to them. The only thing that's going to stop this is we start checking them. You know. And that's what I was saying in other videos. It's funny how you have a bunch of these white boys and these non-blacks, especially in the boxing community, that try to make videos trying to talk shit about other black channels, but then they trying to talk slang and talk all cool and stuff. You guys are cornballs. You non-blacks are cornballs. You will always be cornballs. Because you fake. You won't ever have what we have. We was born cool. We invented cool. We invented swag. And the only thing you non-blacks and you white people can do is copy off of it. Because you can't create shit on your own. And like I said, any white person that, that used the N-words, you're a racist. I don't give a damn how many uh, black women you sleep with or how many black men you sleep with. You're a racist. And don't try to act like, like you didn't know that you were being racist. You did. Because I'm going to show more, more proof. I'm going to show, I'm going to even further rest my case with the next video, which I'm going to prove to you that white people know they ain't supposed to be saying, saying that word, but they think it's cool. But see, the thing is, you know why people disrespect us in particularly black men is because they know black men at the end of the day really ain't going to say nothing. They feel like they ain't going to say nothing. They're going to do exactly what this dude did. Didn't say nothing. Just sat up there giggling and shit. And whoever this woman is, she don't respect her man. Because if she respected him, she wouldn't even say that. And I don't want to hear that shit that she was just playing. You don't play like that. Because like I said, I remember a long time ago. Now, I've never like had the desire to marry a, a white woman or a non-black. But, you know, I done hung with him. And you know what I mean by hung with him. But it was this this white chick that was from like San Jose. And it's what made me like completely just say from now on, just black women. She used to uh, she used to be saying that word. And she used to say it too much. And then, like I said, she had a she to me was a racist. She, yeah, she like black, like black D, but she would make little innuendos about black women. And she used to say that N word. And I had warned her to stop saying that shit. And then every time we talk, she'd be saying nigga and all that kind of shit. So I was like, um, one day she she just caught me on the on, on the wrong day. And I said, check this out. B, stop saying that N-word. You not black. I don't know who you think you is, but you better quit saying that, that N-word to me for it be bad. And I told her it was going to get ugly. Never heard from her again. You know what I'm saying? For real. I don't play them kind of games. And I want to ask all you black dudes. Why y'all think it's cool for somebody to call y'all that word? Why you why why you get some emotional heart on from hearing somebody that ain't black say the N-word? But then at certain times, if a black dude say that to you, 
you 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 ready to fight then you taking it as disrespect is it a term of embracement or not the same animosity the same the, the, the same contempt you have for a black person when when they say that to you should have that especially for somebody that ain't black and like i say why do you guys think it's cool for somebody that ain't black to say that i'm, I'm waiting for an answer nobody can give me a definitive answer because y'all know y'all full of shit that's all it come down to. Y'all gonna have to stop nigga explaining. Y'all can't nigga explain to me. Because I'm too deep up in this game. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help get our respect back. We need to start taking our respect back. Because like I said, for you non-blacks that's saying it, why do you want to say it? Because you know damn well if somebody called you a derogatory term for whatever your, your race is, you would have a fit. But to a certain degree, I, I I blame black people for this because we we give people too many passes. We give non-blacks too much leeway because we've been made to to believe that we have allies. That all these other so-called minorities is our allies, and they didn't made it clear that they didn't said fuck us on several occasions. We don't have no friends. We don't have no allies. And I don't know how many times I gotta gotta keep telling y'all this. Haven't y'all seen that we don't have no allies? Has anybody came to our defense based off how people been trying to link this uh, Razor Ramona to us? Nobody. Has anybody spoke out on the situation that's going on in Asia and how uh, in Africa, how those people are trying to finesse black people out their land and trying to um, basically colonize Africa? How they trying to turn uh, Africa into a second China? Yeah, nobody ain't said nothing. So that's the point that I'm trying to make. I'm trying to help y'all, man, for real. And I'm going to continue to put these videos out because, like I said before, this further proves what I've been saying about white women. They are way more racist than white men. Like I said, if you some uh, some sorry-ass Becky, you out of line and you a racist. And like I said, if you were a black person that tell you it's okay to say this, you should say you don't have no respect for yourself. Because like I said, if you a black person that say that allows somebody that ain't black to say that you don't have no respect for yourself. You ain't got you could be friends and be close with somebody. By not allowing them to call you a word that's me meant to dis you know, disrespect black people and demean black people. That's what I'm saying. Why do we have to have to bend and break at the same time? We can bend a little bit, but for real. You could be cool with me and not be black. But you don't have to use that N-word. It's no no reason for you. It's no excuse for somebody that ain't black. And especially somebody that's white to use that word under no circumstances. That's why I can't stand that rapper R R A the Rugged Man because I didn't seen him using that word. And you know how I feel about Eminem. It's no excuse. Like I said, at the end of the day, get out of here with that uh it's just a word shit. Because if that's the case, why everybody went, you you know, went ape shit when what Devin Haney said wasn't even a big deal. Like I said, busted. Anyway, let me get ready for work. This is your boy, Tell Biz. I'm out.